But I want you to understand about why you need to be successful. It's not just about you, but it's about other people who are around you. People who have invested in you to be here, to get to this space, and people who are looking behind you. I know that as a father, I have a responsibility, not just to my children, but to other people in the community who call me dad and uncle and, and big bro Dave. I've got that responsibility. I also know in terms of my work, I need to be able to set a standard, because I'm going to tell you why, and some people may not feel comfortable with this, but I don't care, I've got the mic, hush your mouth, I'm talking now, all right? Here's when I go into a room, very often, I am the only person, very often as a speaker, that has this chocolate hue. I'm breaking it down, okay? Sometimes I go into a room, I've been in that, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm not telling you to impress you, but I want to impress upon you. As a speaker, I've gone around the world. I've been to the House of Lords. I've been to the House of Commons. I've had, some of you may know I've had the opportunity in the last few years to work alongside Sir Richard Branson. I've done some things where I'm the only one of color in the room. And I know that when I walk through that door, I've got to prop that door open so that other people can come in behind me. So I know that I have to have a standard of excellence. I know that I have to have a standard of excellence because I know there were people who went before me. I know there were people who didn't have this opportunity. I'm thinking of Lumumba. I'm thinking of X. I'm thinking of King. Okay? I'm thinking of Harriet Tubman. I'm thinking of the women and the men who went before me. And that's part of my excellence. I also know that as a guy, I've got to be able to set a standard to say, look, when I'm doing my stuff, I've got to be able to set an example to you to say, look, this is the way how you would be able to conduct yourself effectively. As a father, I know I have to be able to do this. As an entrepreneur, I know I have to set certain rules so that people who are looking behind me can learn because it's not just about me. And it's not just about you. It's about how we can take each other to the next level. So I want to ask you, because I asked you at the beginning, how many of you want to be successful? How many of you in here want to make good money, like some proper P, like good cash, like in your bank? Let's keep that real up in here. How many of you are already doing it? <laughs> Them hands went down quick, like, yeah, bro. In due time. So, so here's the thing. How many of you want to have your own house? Who wants to have your own house? We're going to go through a whole list. How many of you want to have your own car? Better than the one you have at the moment. Okay. How many of you want to have money on your Oyster card? That's all right. Let's keep it real up in here. Because you know, like, you're minus. Okay, all right, okay. So, so, here's the thing. You have to decide what success looks like for you. No one can determine it for you. And I know some of you are like, you don't know my mum or dad, okay? And I do, because my mum or dad, they wanted me to be a doctor. How many of you kind of, like, come from a family like that? They, you have to be a doctor, a lawyer, yeah, yeah, or go. And... Um, and my parents wanted me to do that. I was really excited. I was into science. I loved science. And then one day, I remember I was playing football, and one of my friends, he broke his leg, and I ran over because I'm going to be the doctor. I saw the blood, and I fainted, okay? <laughs> I knew I was not going to be a doctor after that. But let me tell you really quickly, I've been an accountant. People laugh at me when I tell them this, right? but I've been an accountant. I was an accountant. I went into IT, and then I found, actually, no, my purpose found me because I don't believe in chasing after your purpose. My purpose found me. And what I realized is that I've been given a gift, and one of my gifts is, is to be able to not only to be ex able to explain complex stuff, but be able to lead by example as well. I do this for a living. I speak for a living. I get paid to talk. And trust me, I get paid good money, okay? And it's an honor to be able to do that. Because on the one hand, I can go into the House of Lords and I will change my voice and I'll say, you know, look at the, the juxtaposition of the way that, you know, I drop them big words. And they're looking at me like, juxtaposition. <laughs> and they pretend like they know and they're like, <laughs> I'm like, you don't know them deep words. Only I know them, okay? But at the same time, I know I can go into a school when I see all those kids who, 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 who need to change the language slightly. And I'll be like, yeah, what's going on, brother? Yeah. You think you're buff, don't you? You're butters. Okay, right, you know? Um, but being able to connect is something that I know has been a gift. And here's what I want to say to you guys. Even though you may be in a position where sometimes there's family pressures and, and other pressures around you to do something, like, don't do what you're not called to do. Because what will happen is if your values and your beliefs don't match up, you will never, ever enjoy what you're doing. How many of you know in here could tell me what three values you hold dear to your life you'd never compromise? Three values. Raise your hand. You don't have to tell me now. But three values that you hold really dear to yourself. Three things that you will never compromise on. And if you don't know it, my quick thing, because I love this to be interactive, and I don't mind. If you're recording me, don't, don't put your phone down. Just record it. It makes me feel good anyway. Just record it. Write it down on your phone. But write down three values that are really important to you that you will never compromise on. 
So let me give you an example. As a business, there's three businesses that I will never work with. I will never work with a tobacco company. I will never work with a porn company. And I will never work with a gambling company. Actually, there's four, because I won't work with arms companies either. Thank you, sir. Sorry. <laughs> Done, no. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I was waiting for that opportunity. Okay, thank you. Um, and, 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 and what it is, is you've got, to, you really have got to be able to work out. So I'm going to throw some stuff at you really quickly. I'm going to go about five minutes, four minutes. I'm going to really throw this stuff at you. So please, whether you're recording it, I don't mind. As I say, write it down, whatever you're going to do. I'm going to throw some information. I'm going to speak really quickly, but you need to understand this. Number one, get a plan. If you want to be successful, have a plan in place. If you don't know where you're going, you'll never get there. It's like you say, I've got a destination. You just jump on a circle line and you keep going round and round and round and round in a circle. Have a plan. And start to think about the things that are going to work for you. What does that plan look like? What does success look and taste and feel like for you? What does it look like? How will you know when you have arrived? Okay? Have that plan in place. Second one I want to say to you is surround yourself with people. They're P's, right? So you'll get the theme. Surround yourself with people. And I'm talking about people who have got your back. You'll know. You want a little test? Pretend you don't have no money. That's when you know when people have got your back. You go, oh, man, you know, I'm kind of broke. Yeah, yeah, I ain't got no money. You can see the, po the pocket bulging with money there, and they say they haven't got it. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm teasing you with, with that, but make yourself friendly and make yourself available so that other people can be your friend because let me tell you something. You cannot be successful on your own. No one that I know who has been successful on their own. People say, oh, well, you know, there, there, there may be situations where... No, if you want to be successful in your career and stuff that you've got to do, you've got to work with other people. No one, let me be honest with you, no one likes a martyr. Oh, I did it all on my own and it was me and I did it on my back and, and I'm an independent lady or I'm an independent man. Bun you. No one cares. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to say it straight. You have to understand that you've got to work with other people. It's a team effort. When you look at, I look at like Kevin Hart. Brilliant comedian, okay? Fantastic. He's got a team. I look at the guys. I, I talk to these guys about grime. I look at the, the um, what's his name? Jamie. I love that young guy, okay? Amazing talent, but part of a unit. Boy, better know, okay? You think of a car like that. Car is a friend of mine. I think of him, you know, being able to set up his own um, production and theatrical company. It's a business. It's people working together. So find out who can work with you. So let me tell you some people who can work with you. Find out somebody from your family who's got your back. If your mom and your dad are getting on your nerves, go and talk to your godfather, godmother, uncle, auntie, somebody who would have your back. Get yourself a mentor. Okay? Get yourself a mentor. And here's the thing about finding a mentor. It's very easy. And people say this all the time. Oh, I want somebody to be a mentor. Make sure you have something of value that you can bring so you can get something back. I had the opportunity a number of years ago to... Um, how long have I got? How long have I got? If, have I... Oh, until they tell me, I'm going to keep going anyway, okay? I had the opportunity a number of years ago to, to work with an incredibly talented young man called Jamal Edwards, okay? Runs a platform called SBTV. And an amazing young guy who, who, who he wasn't the academically brightest, but he was determined. He was going to be able to go and do this thing, do, do as well as he can. We worked together for a little while, and then I was able to go with him on a book tour. And we went around the country together. And it was amazing, because while we were on the book tour, he got some investment in his company. I was proud to say that being alongside this young man... All I had to do is say, this is what you need to do to tweak it. And then he ran with it. And here's the beautiful thing about mentors. If you get a mentor and the mentor is just bigging up themselves, that's not a mentor for you. A true mentor will see your potential and let you run with it. And know that you can take it to the next level. Third one, position yourself. How many of you in here are on LinkedIn? How many of you on LinkedIn? Okay. How many of you got an updated profile on LinkedIn? Okay, that's a different story. How many of you spell checked what you did on LinkedIn? Listen, I went on there and somebody said they got communication skills and it was spelled with a K. I was like, mm -mm, no, no, no. Something not right here, okay? Here's what I'm going to say to you. Use LinkedIn. It's one of the most powerful tools I will definitely recommend to you guys. How many of you guys here are on Twitter? Okay? If you're on Twitter, follow me. I might, I might not follow you back because that's a long thing, all right? But there's, there's stuff that I share on there for free. And what I'm saying to you, the reason why I'm telling you this is take the stuff that's out there for free. How many of you in here watch Vine or Instagram or Facebook or YouTube? How many of you are on any of those platforms? Let me tell you one of the biggest problems I find about that. People spend so much time on there looking at other people living their dreams instead of fulfilling their own. Let me just drop the mic a minute. <laughs> it's important to learn from people, but start creating your own dream. Start creating it. You've got to be able to take that stuff to the next level. So you position yourself. If you are at uni, if you're not at uni, if you're doing an entire, has somebody saying about they had an internship, whatever you're doing, position yourself so that you're almost there. 
Don't fake it until you make it. Anybody tells you that is a fake. Be real all the time. Because if you fake it until you make it, what happens when somebody calls your bluff and you're a fake? Hello? Important to be real. And I understand the context about that, but be real. Be 100%. Do not fake it. Be yourself 100%. Make sure the people who are around you will keep you accountable so that they know you're being 100% all the time. Don't fake the amount of energy it takes to lie or to fake. Be honest. Be who you are. Recognize that you will make mistakes, but keep going. And the last one I'm going to give you is perform. Do what you say you're going to do. Watch this little thing, right? Just work with me. Everybody put your right hand out in front of you. Put your right hand out in front of you. Okay? If you don't know what your right hand is, it's this one, okay? <laughs> do the same with your left hand. Shake it like a... <laughs> okay, all right. Raise your right hand up. Am I showing myself? Sorry. I'm oh, sorry. I don't care. Raise your left hand up. That's right. It smells good in there. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> Form a circle with your right hand like this, but keep shaking your left hand. So it looks like this, Okay? All right, now what I want you to do without talking is just look at me really slowly, take your right hand, don't say anything, just take your right hand really slowly, and what I want you to do is place your right hand on your chin. Now, how many have it on your cheek, even though I said your chin? Aha. Uh -huh. And even though it's dark, I saw some of you kind of like, I saw you. People at the back like, what did he say, fam? Here's the thing about the exercise. People listen more to what you do than what you say. People listen more to what you do than what you say. So if you're going to do something, deliver. I sit on Twitter sometimes, I say people say, yeah, I'm going to do this, do this, do that. Three months later, you ain't done nothing. I laugh at you. Ha <laughs> ha. LOL. Don't just talk about doing something. Make sure you deliver on it. And the people who are around you will make sure that they keep you accountable. But here's the thing. Always aim for excellence. That doesn't mean you won't make mistakes, but always aim for for excellence. So here's my challenge to you, because I'm going to put down the mic now, I'm going to be done and then they're going to kick me off, because I know I've got to go soon. I've got to go down to Eastbourne tonight. So here's what I want you to do. You don't have to do it, but I want you within the next 30 days, all of you in this room, to find something that will take you out of your comfort zone. Something that will take you out of your comfort zone. Maybe you need to manage your money better. Maybe you need to be more present in your relationship. Maybe you need to study harder and turn off social media. Maybe you need to go out with your friends and actually put your blasted phone down and have a conversation. What is it that's going to take you out of that, com that comfort zone, but you've got to do it in the next 30 days? If you're big, bold, butters and brave enough, tell me about it on Twitter. My hashtag is at David McQueen. Actually, if you type in David McQueen in Google, I come in the top three because that's how I roll. Okay, all right. But... <laughs> My Twitter is at David McQueen. And here's the thing. If you do it, I'll keep you accountable. I will keep you on your toes in 30 days. But you've got to do it. Talk is cheap. Action is priceless. I want you all to recognize that while you're in this room here, and I saw it when you were networking, make sure you make use of the people around you. Because let me tell you something very quickly as I go now. I was online yesterday because I want to do an online course. I want to start doing some online courses. I teach people how to speak. I teach people about careers, all that kind of stuff. And I wanted to do an online course. And I went on to, how many of you have ever heard of Udemy? Udemy? It's an online course place, okay? I don't know if I pronounce it right, but I don't care. I went on to Udemy, and there was a guy, he had a course. The course was 97 pounds, and it was videos and documents. 31,000 people bought that course. Do the maths and tell me how much money that man made. 31,000 people did the course at 97 pounds online. Do the maths. And I want you to think about that. Why do I tell you that? Because it's about possibility. You're in an age now where there's so many things you can do online, face-to-face, -face, or with other people. Take that opportunity and run with it. Make sure that when you are successful, you do it on your terms. No one else's. Make sure you're accountable to your friends, but keep pushing yourself forward. Make sure you have those habits. Make sure you have those behaviors that demonstrate that excellence. My name is David McQueen. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you very much. Would you like to be at our next event? Visit dreamnation.co.uk and join our free mailing list in the top right-hand corner. You will receive exclusive content and free updates on future projects so that you'll never have to miss out again. Work hard and keep dreaming.